What is good YouTube family? It's your girl Emerson and welcome back. If you are new here, hello. My name is Emerson Lorbach. I am a personal, certified personal trainer. Can't forget the certified. I am also an online coach and I am accepting new clients. So if you love this video and you are interested in working together, fill out the link below and let's hop on a call and get you a part of the dream team. And I am also a content creator that shares about my whole entire journey to help change and inspire the lives of women and help them grow not only physically but mentally as well because in order to grow physically you have to be there for yourself mentally and I will forever and ever preach that but today I'm going to take y'all through how I grew my pancakes into peaches and my biggest advice on how to grow your glutes because I know every girl's dream like me is to get a big old dump truck so I'm gonna take y'all through my biggest advice and to tell y'all what I wish I knew when I started my journey so my number one advice is sticking to a program and progressing in them you can find a program that you like and I will help you create one and we're gonna stick to it for at least four weeks you can go four to eight weeks you don't want to stick for it to too long because your body may get too used to it to where you hit a plateau and you won't be able to progress so find a program stick to it and progress all in it and a lot of you may ask how many times a week should i be hitting legs my problem when i first started my journey was i was hitting legs every single time i went to the gym and that was like four to five times a week which is way too much and i was also doing like seven eight possibly nine or ten exercises each leg day which is way too many you should be putting your full effort into the four to five maybe six exercises if it's like a superset of something and more like isolation work possibly but you really only need like four to five good exercises and you should be putting your full effort into them to where you physically cannot do a seventh eighth ninth or tenth exercise of something else that is just way too many girl way too many but i went there done that no shame it is what it is we're gonna learn from here on out you feel me so how many leg days a week should you be doing well, it definitely depends on how hard you are pushing in the gym. I would say, depending on however many times a week you're going to the gym, two to three. When you first start, let's say you aren't working out at all right now, start with two leg days. Three leg days is going to be too much because you're going to be super sore and your body will not fully recover. And if your body is not recovered, you will not see progress. Progress happens when you are resting. Always listen to your body. If you are too sore, please do not try to push and hit the same muscle group multiple times because it's going to be doing way too much to your body, if that makes sense. But workout splits. If you're going two times a week, do a full leg day and a full upper body day. If you're going three times a week, you could do either two leg days and an upper body day or one leg day, one upper body day, and a full body day. Four times a week, leg day, push day, push is chest, triceps, and shoulders, pull day, back and biceps, and then another leg day. If you're doing five times a week, you could do a leg day, a push day, another leg day, a pull day, and possibly another leg day. If you feel like that's too much, I would do a leg day, a push day, a pull day, a leg day, and then a full body day. If you're doing six times a week, at one point I was doing leg day, pull day, push day, leg day, back and shoulders day, and then another leg day. Or you could do leg day, push day, pull day, leg day, full upper body day, and then like a leg day if that makes sense, or like a cardio and core day but you don't want to do too much cardio because it'll lose your booty but i'll talk about that later on in the video you want to do the right type of cardio you feel me but also when i say leg day i wasn't doing like a full leg day or just a glute day each day if that makes sense i would split it up so when i was doing three leg days a week i was starting with a full leg day and then a quad day and then a gluten hamstring day i would split it up into three different days so that way it wasn't just like doing way too much if that makes sense or if you're doing two leg days a week you could do like a gluten hamstring day and then a gluten quad day you know just kind of depending on your goal but that is how you can set up a um split and also i'm going to get into details on the exercises i recommend that you stick to and you focus on and you progress in 
my typical way of setting up a leg day starting with some type of squat if you're going for more results hear me out i want to go for barbell squats I would go more for a machine squat. If you don't have a machine like a hack squat, then barbell squats with machine squats are perfectly fine. I'm not saying that they're a bad thing, but I feel like to see the most progress and progress the most is doing like hack squats or like pendulum squats. Those machines just like target things differently. I feel like they just like, they're hard to mess up, you know? Like I feel like barbell squats, a lot of people could mess up the form which could cause injuries you know and so i feel like personally a machine squat is absolutely amazing chef's kiss so you could start your leg day with a squat and then we are going to go into cast glue bridges okay now you're like what is cast glue bridges what is the difference between a cast glue bridge and a hip thrust well a cast glue bridge is a hip thrust but shorter range of motion keeping the tension at the top full range of motion hip thrusts are a good thing they're a great compound movement but it's often that your legs take over like your quads take over more than your glutes it's an overall exercise you know it's an overall leg day exercise cast glute bridges short range of motion which is keeping the tension in your glutes it's keeping that mind to muscle connection there and so when i changed out going from hip thrust to cast glute bridges and also changing out from going to heavy hip thrust and going over to lighter more reps cast glute bridges that was a game changer for my glutes i used to do hip thrust with like four plates each side and yeah you may think oh yeah you're lifting heavy you should see results you should grow that dumpy but my mind and muscle connection wasn't there and different things were taking over and i didn't want to target that i wanted to target my glutes so when i dropped the weight in half and instead of going for six to eight hip thrusts, I went for 12 to 15 cast glute bridges. That is a game changer for the glutes. I'm telling you. But we have squats, we have cast glute bridges, and then we need a single leg movement. My top single leg movements. Ooh, I got a lot. If you're trying to target your glutes, reverse lunges always a go-to bulgarian split squats i know they suck they're terrible but no challenge no change that's where you grow the most is when you do those exercises that you hate but bulgarian split squats you could do walking lunges those are good as well um i would say my go-to's are those oh single leg hack squats girl the way that targets your glutes is absolutely insane. I 10 out of 10 recommend trying a single leg hack squat. Is it humbling? Absolutely. But like I said, no challenge, no change. Those are an amazing movement to add in as well. And then also adding in a hip hinge. So hip hinges are like RDLs, good mornings, um, B stance RDL, pretty much an RDL or good morning which is like the same thing those are great movements for the glutes when you're trying to target your glutes you want to send your hips to the back of the room really feeling that full stretch on the glute and then squeeze through your heels squeeze your cheeks to come up and then finish off with an isolation movement which could be depending what you're trying to target hamstring curls you could do kickbacks you could do leg extensions those are like my typical way to set up a leg day of course you can do different ways um but that is like an easy way to think okay how do i set up this leg day squat a hip thrust a single leg movement a hip hinge and then isolation movement five exercises and you're good you're gucci but there's obviously different ways um a lot of my glute days i skip out on the squats and i go more i start with my cast glute bridges those are like key get my glutes activated and then go into like an rdl and then you could do like your reverse lunges you could add in hyper extensions anything like that i would say all these are amazing exercises another compound movement that i absolutely love for my leg growth especially my quad growth is leg press leg press is an absolute game changer we love her i love leg press so freaking much i'm a heavy leg press type of girl like there's certain exercises that i like to go lighter weight more reps like cast glute bridges to really focus on like my mind and muscle connection but leg press is just something that works overall legs and 
There's nothing more empowering than loading up five plates each side and just repping out some leg press. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But all of these exercises have been my keys to growing my legs, growing my glutes, and building the shape that I want from my waist down. You feel me? But that kind of goes over... Um, key exercises, key movements, how to set up your leg day, different splits that you could try out to grow your lower body. Tip number two. Girl, why do you think you're going to grow your glutes without eating food and fueling your body? Absolutely not. You need to prioritize your food, your carbs, your protein. Your protein's going to be your best friend, but carbs are also going to be your best friend. I don't know who put people in the mindset that carbs are not your friends and that carbs are bad. Carbs are not bad. Carbs will literally fuel your dumpy. It will literally fuel your body to give you the energy throughout the day, to give you that power to go lift a heavy lift, you feel me? So never ever think that eating is bad. If you want to grow your dumpy, I'm sorry, but you need at least three meals a day. At least. I would say three to four. If you could get in that fifth or like a snack, that would be chef's kiss. But three to four meals, good meals that is fueling your body are going to be key as well. And let's talk supplements. A lot of people have that question like they think they need to get into the gym and like they need all these supplements supplements are great to have i'm a supplement girly but you don't need them in order to see results it will just enhance the process of seeing results but if i had to give you advice on my top three supplements i recommend i would say creatine to everybody i don't care if you're trying to gain weight i don't care if you're trying to lose weight i don't care if you're trying to maintain creatine is the best supplement i swear it makes me superman it makes me lift as much weight as i possibly can remember to drink a lot of water when you're on creatine but creatine will be your number one best friend it enhances muscle mass it helps with recovery it's the number one studied supplement to one be safe and two to see the most results with so i 10 out of 10 recommend trying creatine take it every single day even on your rest days you need it every single day i mix mine in with my pre-workout on my days that i don't take pre-workout i mix it in with my greens um i use creatine from one soul i love them i 10 out of 10 recommend i will drop the link below and you can use code emerson for a discount but really any creatine works I would say I've only used um, one soul and PE science creatine and they both worked the same to me but if you want to support your girl go get you some one soul creatine but that is my number one supplement two hmm I would say protein powder if you have a hard time eating if you're able to eat your protein you don't need protein powder but for those days where one you have a low appetite or you just need to like get it in or an easy way to get your protein in protein powder is a game changer once again i use mine from one soul they're plant-based they don't make me break out it doesn't make me bloated i love one soul supplements all around protein powder is a huge type of supplement to help you get to your results if once again you can't eat your protein or you have a hard time eating protein i should have done more than three because i have like a tied for third place i'm gonna tell y'all both of them if we're talking booty growing i would say pre-workout if you need energy to get to the gym to give your like full performance and full energy pre-workout helps enhance your energy to get you through your lift to make you lift heavy so i would recommend pre-workout i use one soul once again but at the same time one soul i don't drink a lot of caffeine period and so one soul pre-workout is only 100 milligrams of caffeine which isn't a lot like most energy drinks have at least 200 some 400 which 400 i'm sorry but that's not healthy that's not healthy but anyways that's beside the point that's not part of this video right now one soul pre-workout gives me enough energy to get through my workouts um but it doesn't make me itchy doesn't make me jittery i love their pre-workout but if you need something that's a little bit stronger i would recommend another brand i don't have any recommendations because your girl only uses one soul um but i definitely recommend pre-workout if you feel like you don't need that extra energy boost or if you work out late at night i don't recommend drinking caffeine before because it'll make you not want to fall asleep at night i would go for greens greens are not going to help grow your 
booty but it's going to help with your gut health to get you that snatched little waist you feel me which also helps with your skin it helps with your digestive system when i drink my greens let me tell you i'm on that toilet immediately after sorry if that's tmi but it helps clean out my system it makes me feel good and i literally drink my greens every single day i look forward to drinking my greens every single day i normally drink it in the morning either with my breakfast or before my breakfast and it just makes me feel so freaking good after don't get me wrong greens are greens they're good for you which means they don't taste the best i will say i i live by one soul i will swear by one soul forever and ever one soul greens are the best tasting greens that i've ever had so i definitely recommend getting their greens and also they just have so many vitamins and so many benefits in them but that's besides the point those are my number one or my number three three slash four supplements that i recommend depending on your goals but anyways fuel your body your dumpy needs some food in order to grow she's not gonna grow eating one meal a day i'm sorry stop drinking coffee for breakfast i don't know who need to hear it but i know some of y'all need to hear it but that's all i gotta say fuel your body she's gonna appreciate it another advice i have how much cardio are you doing if you are running miles on miles a day your dumpy is gonna fall off the face of the earth i'm sorry which a lot of people are gonna appreciate this because i know where my cardio haters at me i know me i'm a cardio hater i'm not gonna lie i skip it i'm trying to get better at it but i skip it but if you want to grow your dumpy but you also want to like work on your stamina and cardio is good. You should you should do cardio. Don't listen to me. I'm a personal trainer. Do cardio. I just need to practice what I preach because I skip it a lot. But the cardio that's going to get you a dumpy and help enhance your dumpy. One, Stairmaster. It sucks. I know. My best friend made me do 30 minutes of the Stairmaster today. I simply wanted to pass away, but after, I felt amazing. During, I literally forgot how to walk 20 minutes in. Like, I forgot. I had to put my phone down and focus on just stepping up each step because I simply just forgot how to walk. Stairmaster is going to do it for you. Sprints. That is a great exercise to grow your glutes. Not a great exercise, a great cardio to grow your glutes. Doing, like... 15 20 30 seconds max full out sprint sprint intervals like doing that and then taking like a 30 second break and then going again that's gonna do it that's gonna get you a nice little dumpy think of a short distance track star they usually have that big booty muscular type of figure and then think of a cross country runner they're normally skinnier you know because they're running long distance so if you're trying to grow that dumpy go with that athlete cross country is an athlete too but go for that athlete figure what would it be called i don't know but sprints that is where it's going to get you to grow that dumpy if you would like to do cardio i would recommend if you're really trying to focus on building your glutes and um putting on muscle cardio two maybe three times a week or you could even like incline walk after your lift you always want to put your lift first because you want to put your full effort into your lifts and then cardio after if your goal is to work on your stamina um i don't know why you clicked on this video because it literally says how to grow your glutes but i respect it if you're watching me i love you and i appreciate you but if you're trying to work on your stamina that's whenever you do cardio before your lifts and yeah if you're trying to work on putting on muscle burning fat any of that i definitely recommend cardio after your lifts anyways am i missing anything zeus wants to play so bad he just brought his toy over zeusy you just want to play so let me finish this video and then we can play okay here's your ball oh he's so handsome he's so handsome mm. don't do those crazy exercises y'all see people post on social media just to like start a trend if you see an exercise and you've never seen it before probably should not be doing don't at me but it's probably something that's not really gonna get you to your goals if we're being completely honest like if it's i don't know i used to do crazy different little things let me show y'all if you want results in the gym this is my number one advice oh my gosh i'm gonna get copyrighted for the music i need to restart 
if you want to see results in the gym this is my number one advice okay you feel me stop focusing on movements like this you see how i was petite i didn't have a booty i was small it's because i was doing random exercises like this if you want results focus on exercises like these your compound movements we have cast glute bridges we have leg press we have pendulums with literally take my life out rdls and bulgarian split squats and you see that I had a little zumpy in that because I started doing and focusing on exercises like that, not random little exercises that I saw girls do on social media that I wanted to try. But that, I would say, is my biggest advice if you're trying to grow your cheeks and be double cheeked up this summer in a tiny little bikini and dental floss and you're trying to look good while you're on the beach. That is how you are going to see the best results that you want if you have any further questions about anything i said please drop them below and i'd be more than happy to answer them if you want any other videos like this talking about any advice that i have as a personal trainer who's been doing this for quite a while on how to go through my trial and error let me know so that way your trial and error doesn't have to be as long as the trial and error journey that i had to go through and if you just need that extra one-on-one -on -one coaching please fill out the link below and i'd be more than happy to get you on my team it's going to give you a a full workout program based on your goals however many times a week you want to go to the gym the equipment available to you if you want to do it at home we can make it happen at home you feel me it's also going to give you meal plans based on if you have any food allergies or just simply foods you don't like those will not be included inside your meal plans everything's catered to you and you also have 24 7 chat access to me meaning you can text me anytime any place and i'll get back to you as soon as i see your message so that way we can get to our results as fast as possible and just start this journey together and you'll have extra motivation and accountability from me because i'll be on your head like girl did you clock in send me that post pump pic and also i have a community group message with all my clients in it just to surround yourself with like-minded women with similar goals as you for extra motivation and extra accountability so if you want to be part of the dream team fill out the link below and we'll get you signed up asap always remember like and subscribe if you like this video and you want more and bye